I'm curious to find out what the real world benefits can be found from removing clear to send requirement by ignoring SSIDs you don't care about. Yeah, I don't know of any method to ignore SSIDs. Some people, and, and this is going back 20 years, some people started a long time ago and they associated an SSID with a VLAN. And you can do that even today. You can have an SSID point directly and funnel all the traffic to a specific VLAN. VLANs, on the other hand, are not symmetric going backward. I can have 10 VLANs and they all write on one SSID. Or I can have 10 VLANs each on their own SSID and yet they're still in the same collision domain. We don't use SSID as a, a way to ignore certain Wi-Fi. We use things like preamble detect. And so if there is a SSID that I don't want to listen to and it sends out a preamble in front of its frame and it will always send out a preamble in front of its frame, I'm going to back off and let it do its thing. So we can't use SSID to fix that. Part of the idea of BSSID coloring is that we're going to have a separate flag that will allow us to look at that. And we could possibly tie that BSSID coloring to SSIDs. Maybe. So right now we don't have that working. Right now we live in a world of co-channel interference. Make it go away and your network will go faster. Mm -hmm.